Oops. All right, let's see what the uh, local label assignment is on R4. And we do that with the show MPLS LDP. I want to see the bindings. And I want to see it for a specific prefix and the local binding only. Oh, well, look at this. Local binding is an implicit null. Cisco has freaking lied to me. <sighs> this is so disappointing. Well, let's go ahead and see if anything has changed on the pentultimate hop. It's going to do an up arrow. And as you saw before, we got the implicit null, so we were popping. Um, that's the LFIB operation for this particular prefix. Let's see what we got now. Well, now that's interesting. Instead of popping local tag 18, what it's saying is that we're going to uh, go ahead and swap it. And we're going to swap it with something called label 0. Well, I think I mentioned that earlier that label 0 is actually the explicit null. It's reserved, obviously, it's a reserved uh, MPLS label. It's in the 0 to 15 range. And so even though R4 says that the uh, local binding is an implicit null, it's actually advertising an explicit null to R3. So let's pop on over to R1 and let's do our trace route again and see what we get. And same, same, same. Oh, here we go. So booyah. We see that prior we had had the uh, implicit null. Now we've got an explicit null. Okay, so we've accomplished what we set it out, set out to do, and that is to break PHP. The um, results are a little underwhelming, obviously, uh, and it does beg the question: What exactly is an explicit null, and why would you use this? Um, like I said, this is going to be outside the um, realms of this video, but basically, when you're doing PHP, in this case on on R3, we're, we've got a a uh, label coming, a uh, uh, packet labeled packet with a label coming in, and we pop that. And we're using the uh, PHP. We pop that thing off, and we send it to the last hop as just a, an unlabeled packet. Well, one of the things with uh, MPLS that you can set is you can set these uh, experimental bits, and the experimental bits are just QoS or um, for your quality of service. The problem with PHP is that you know our packets flying through the network gets to the uh, last next to last hop router and it pops that tag so not only do we lose the label but we also lose the ex experimental bits so that packet gets to the last hop router as an unlabeled packet and it doesn't have a mechanism for uh, retaining those experimental bits so what an explicit null does is it says you know go ahead and swap we saw that on R3 we're actually doing a swap operation from tag 18 to 0 go ahead and swap out you know the incoming tag for this special tag tag 0 again one of the reserved MPLS tags and um, go ahead and, and when you do that you're going to uh, retain your experimental bits your uh, QoS so that tag is actually going to hit your last stop I'm sorry that packet is actually going to get routed to your last hop router of R4, it's going to come in with a tag of zero and it's going to maintain those experimental bits. So if we pop over to R4, if we take a look at the LFIB, are we going to see labels with uh, zero? Are we going to see uh, packets that are bound to label zero? What do you think? I bet you know the answer. No, we don't. And the reason for that is that you can't really give a unique um, label to prefix binding with label zero. Again, this is a little outside what we're discussing right now, but it, think about it. If you've got, say you've got 50 loopback interfaces here, and uh, remember that with um, directly connected and summarized routes, um, iOS is going to assign an uh, implicit null. You know, it's going to say go ahead on the next to last hop router pop this so all we've done here is uh, with that command is all we've done is replaced any ex uh, I'm sorry any implicit null advertisements with explicit null advertisements 
So if you have 50 loopbacks or you know a ton of uh, networks that are directly connected, you're going to have a ton of um, entries in your LFIB with a local tag of zero. And you can't guarantee uniqueness with that, so it's not used. So basically, um, we'll hit this in another video, but all you're using explicit um, null for is to retain that those experimental bits uh, so that they make it to the last hop router. Okay, so that's how you can um, effectively disable pentultimate hop hopping in a Cisco IOS environment. Um, you're actually hacking it rather than explicitly disabling it. And uh, like I said, we will go over experimental bits, QoS, traffic engineering with MPLS, and how the explicit null label fits into that. I just wanted to give you a you know a quick and dirty um, to show you how you could uh, emulate breaking PHP. Uh, it was you know kind of underwhelming. Um, so anywho, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.